Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be working on a water marble design and as you can see I'm almost finished with the design and I have this one left to do which I'm gonna show you in a little bit and this is the one I did for my thumb and this is a flower design. This design is actually not very hard to do and um, before I get started I do want to give you a few tips for water marbling. I know that a lot of you tried this look and um, ended up with a mess, but it's actually not that difficult. So you need room temperature filtered or bottled water. If you are using tap water and you're having trouble, then it's because you need to switch to bottled water or, or uh, filtered water and it needs to be at room temperature for the nail polish to spread. And also, um, only a, some nail polish work for this design so not everything is gonna work out so you just have to try and um, when you do the design is kind of you, you kind of have to rush a little bit because nail polish kind of dry fast and if you don't work fast it's gonna dry and your look is gonna be all messed up so um, that's my tip for water marbling and I hope you find it helpful Hi everyone, so we are ready to get started. First of all, I have this nail prepped with two coats of pearly white and I'm using the Revlon one and it's called Pure Pearl. Pure Pearl 020. And I have two coats of this and for water marble it's really important that you have, you prep your nails with two coats of whatever base color that you choose to use. And for my water color, I'm using all feminine colors. First of all is the Sinful Colors one. And this one is called Glass Pink. And it's a very, very sheer glittery pink. The next one is from Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Collection. And it's called Coral Reef 405. And the last one that I'm using is a purple. And it's called Posh Plump. And is 190. I really like the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails collection because I just feel like it works so well for water marbling. And let me just get started and I have all the caps open and ready to go. Just gonna drop in one by one and because the glass pink does not really work that well with the Sally Hansen, the second time it doesn't really spread that well. Just kind of have to wait a little bit longer than usual so that. The nail polish has time to properly spread before I dip in the purple. Usually I don't use anything other than Sally Hansen for water marbling but I really like how the sheer pink looks on my nail and that's why I'm using it. So I'm going to wait until the purple spreads a little more. Like so, and the last drop is going to be another drop of the clear pink. And that's going to be all the nail polish that I'm dropping in for this look. Okay. And I'm just going to use my um, toothpick to draw the design. I want to start from here because if I start from outside then the nail polish is already dry and that's going to basically mess up your design. But 
basically just going for a flower design. I do kind of want to work quickly because the nail polish will dry really fast. I'm just working from one side because I just need half of the flower. Okay, so this is the portion that I'm going to dip my nail in. And how do I want to do this? I want the petal to be on this side, so I'm going to rotate the cup for my dip and I'm just gonna dip like so so I'm just gonna aim for the part I really like and I'm just gonna dip it in and I'm gonna blow on the surface to help the nail polish dry and I'm gonna reach in with my toothpick and just clean up the all the excess nail polish we're going to really clean it well. I want to turn my nails over when I pull it out. And I want to pull it out very, very slowly to avoid any air bubbles. And that's basically my design. And then now I want to go ahead and peel off the um, tape so you can kind of see the design. Tape just really makes the cleanup a lot easier. Kind of do want to do it carefully so I don't like accidentally rip off the design. There we go. As you can see, that's the half of the flower here. And what I want to do is I just want to clean up um, around the nail just to make sure it looks out perfect. And that's what you see in the intro video. And for this finger, my middle finger and my pinky, I didn't actually do the water marble because the nail is kind of short. So I feel like it's not going to look really nice. Water marbling tends to look very nice when your nail is um, kind of long. So, And I kept it in the same water same color scheme just so that it would match with all the other nails i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you try it out and i will see you next time bye